topic, clinical application of transrectal ultrasound in diagnostics and treatment of rectal cancer. Welcome, Professor Guang Jin Liu, please. Thank you very much for the chairman's introduction. And uh, it is my great honor to be here, uh, make the presentation at the uh, 2024 VSR in uh, And uh, I have to say a little bit uh, sorry, uh, because in China, we usually we can update the PPT before the conference. Uh, but this time, I'm using the PPT, the basic version and the very preliminary version uh, updated uh, almost two months ago. So it is a little bit too long, so I have to go really fast. Today, I'd like to introduce the uh, clinical application of a transrectal ultrasound in the diagnosis and treatment of rectal cancer. I'm Dr. Liu Guangjian from the Sixth Affiliated Hospital of the Sun Yisei University. Our hospital is a GI hospital. We have uh, more than 5,000 cases of colon rectal cancer patients for surgery, maybe the highest, uh, la the largest center in the world. And uh, so uh, recently, uh, Chinese uh, released the, the incidence of the rectal the cancer incidence, and uh, rectal cancer has been the second place, just uh, following the lung cancer. Uh, so. Uh, with regard to the diagnosis and treatment of rectal cancer, uh, the ultrasound, especially the uh, indorectal ultrasound, is really important for the clinical evaluation. As we can see, we are using the transrectal ultrasound for the T stage, N stage, and the MRI judgment and the EMVI. And also, MRI is uh, very important uh, in, uh, to evaluate the local situation. And uh, for the CT scan, we can uh, find the distant metastasis. Uh, but the PET-CT is not recommended in the clinical practice. Um, as we know, the transrectal ultrasound has been used in the 80s uh, with the development of the ultrasound scanner and the probe. So it is uh, more and more widely used. And uh, it is very convenient and cost-effective in the evaluation of the rectal cancer. Uh, this is an indication, and uh, uh, I'd like to show we are using the, basically, basically we are using the biplane probe and also the 3D probe uh, in the clinical practice. And uh, as we can see, under the indorectal ultrasound, we can clearly show the five layers of the rectal wall, uh, and also the anal cannula. Uh, the pre precise evaluation of the disease is uh, very important for the treatment and the uh, uh, plan to how to uh, perform the treatment. And the uh, MRI and the ERUS is the key for the T stage, N stage, and the CRM, and also the evaluation of uh, NCRT response. As we can see, uh, indirectal ultrasound is the most accurate. Uh, imaging modality to for the T stage, especially for the early T stage T1 and T2 is the uh, highest uh, accuracy compared with MI. Uh, on the ultrasound findings, we can see the tumor was uh, restricted to the mucosa layer, just like this one. We can see the mucosa layer, the thickness is increased, and the, the sub mucosa layer is uh, clear. So this is a T1 stage. And uh, this is a 3D image. We can see the hyperechoic submacusa layer is complete. So the lesion was limited to the macusa layer is a T1 stage. And this is another uh, by using the biplans, uh, biplan uh, probe. And uh, with the uh, inf infiltration uh, goes through, we can see the tumor penetrated the submacusa layer and uh, affected the muscular layer. So we can see this is the T2 stage, but the wall of the uh, rectal is still complete. 
is clear. So we can see the hyperacuity layer disappeared here. So this means the tumor is invasive to the uh, muscular, muscular layer. And if uh, it goes even through, uh, this is the most common situation in the clinical uh, ultrasound examination. We can see the tumor uh, invaded the whole wall of the rectal wall and uh, even uh, to the surrounding fat tissue. This is the T3 stage. And uh, sometimes uh, it's the locally invasive of the, of the surrounding tissue. And when the tumor invasion to the adjacent uh, structure or the peritoneal, it is T4. As for this case, we can see the prostate has been invasive. That this is a T4 stage. And uh, this, this case is invaded to the uterus. And uh, we compared the diagnostic uh, uh, accuracy of the ERUS and the MRI in our center. Uh, this is uh, almost 10 years ago. And uh, as we can see, the accuracy of uh, endorectal ultrasound is a little bit better than the uh, MRI, especially for the early stage. For, for the T1 stage, we have the accuracy of 90, over 90%, but for MRI, it's only 70 to 80%. But for the T3 and T4 stage, it is the equal modality. Uh, we have some advantages, uh, which is a very high resolution and real-time observation and non-invasive. Uh, but uh, also we have some limitation because when the tumor is too high, we cannot reach it. So sometimes, and also we will be influenced by the uh, faculty in the rectum. Uh, MRI, the advantage is, is uh, we can observe the whole uh, rectal cancer in the surrounding tissue. So. Uh, the next topic I'd like to talk about the mesorectal fascia. As you can see, this is a specimen after the resection. Uh, the surrounding tissue, the, there is a small, uh, very thin, uh, very thin uh, tissue. This is the mesorectal fascia. Uh, it is re really important for the surgeon because if the, the, they can uh, resection the whole rectal uh, uh, surrounding it by the MRF, so which means the, the re resection is uh, very successful and uh, can lower the local uh, recurrence rate. Uh, the MRF is, can be debated on the MRI image very clearly, as we can see here. This is the surrounding MRF. If the tumor is uh, a one millimeter away from the MRF, the surgeon can perform the operation very successfully. But if it is invasive, the, the MRI, so which means we have to perform the uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy or radiotherapy uh, to lower the incidence of the local recurrence. So this is the sample of an MRI image and the uh, pathology sample. We can see corresponding very well. Uh, but we found on the ultrasound, we can also correspond the MRI uh, uh, we can see the ultrasound can also show the MRI very clearly. So in, in our uh, hospital, we perform another study to compare the MRI, the judgment of the, the value of uh, endorectal ultrasound in the evaluation of uh, MRI. And we found for the lower rectal cancer and uh, for the front anterior wall, uh, or the, uh, the whole wall, uh, we, we have a different accuracy. Uh, because the fat tissue is very, very few in the anterior wall, so we have the lower risk accuracy in, for the anterior wall tissue. Uh, but for the higher, uh, for the middle and the lower rectal cancer and the, for the post or the all surrounding, it, we have a very high accuracy. So ERUS is very important uh, to evaluate the MRI in combination with the MRI. And uh, next, we, I'd like to see, uh, because the, uh, in the clinical practice, most of the time we have the uh, locally advanced uh, rectal cancer, which means LARC. 
this kind of cancer, we have to perform neoadjuvant chemotherapy and radiotherapy before surgery uh, to improve the rate of resection and also to lower the rate of uh, local uh, recurrence. Uh, after the NCRT treatment, we have to re-evaluate the tumor before operation. Usually, we perform the colon scope and the digital rectal uh, examination. Uh, in this way, we can only see the surface, the mucosa of the tumor. And also, we need to use in the uh, radiology image, including the MRI and the ERUS, to evaluate the whole layer of the tumor. Uh, but unfortunately, the, none of the method uh, can give us very high sensitivity to detect the complete response, which means that we can, as we can see here, the uh, no matter MRI or ERUS, we can only detect it the tw uh, one fourth of the cases with the complete response. So in our hospital, we perform a study to retro retrospectively uh, analyze the 90 patient after uh, NCRT treatment. And uh, we can see after the treatment, all the tumor retracted very much, uh, no matter the thickness or the length and also the distance from the anal margin. And uh, also in this case, we can see we got uh, about 15%, 15, 15 cases out of 90 patients with the CCR. So it's uh, around 25% of the cases. And uh, if we re-evaluated the T stage by using the indirectal ultrasound, we can see the accuracy decreased to about 82%. Uh, compared with pre-treatment, uh, the high accuracy should be over 90%. Uh, that is because, uh, like this one, this is a T3 tumor after the neoadjuvant chemotherapy, the, uh, the thickness decreased, but the layer is still not so clear, so we cannot see whether there is a still residual wireable tumor here, so uh, it's very difficult to to judge the treatment response um, based on the most morphologic changes. And uh, also for this one, we can see the T3 tumor and the after treatment, the wall is still sinking and the layer is not clear, so it's very difficult to judge. But the, after resection, the tumor has uh, been the pathologically complete response. So uh, in the evaluation of the uh, treatment response, we are using the TRG grade, uh, which uh, divided from zero to grade three. Uh, grade zero means the complete pathological response, uh, and also good response credited with uh, higher five-year survival rate. And also, uh, as we can see, if the tumor has been complete responsed by the uh, TRG, evaluated by TRG, we can take the strategy to wait and see to uh, avoid, avoid the surgical resection. So in our hospital, we retrospectively collected uh, 90 patients uh, with the locally advanced rectal cancer uh, to eva evaluate the treatment response. This is the instrument we are using, and we analyzed the, the T stage, uh, and also we quantitative an analyzed the, the cancer. Uh, Pre-treatment, uh, pre we, uh, we, we measured the diameter, the longest diameter and the, the thickness. And also, uh, by using the 3D ultrasound, we measured the volume. And also, after the treatment, uh, we measured it again and compared with the uh, P stage. And in this group of patients, there are, uh, we uh, divided into responsive, which means grade zero and grade one, and non-responsive means grade two and grade three. And uh, another group uh, method is the complete response means grade zero, and uh, grade one, two, three means incomplete response remission. And uh, we can see in this, this group of the, of the patient, the total accuracy of TCDH is around 78%. Uh, and uh, for the uh, ultrasound judgment of the complete remission, the uh, sensitivity is around 30%. Uh, 
And, but we can see by the measurement, after the NCRT, all of the tumor decreased in size, in length, in thickness, and in volume. And uh, if we are using the responsive and the non-responsive no complete or incomplete to compare, we found uh, in the responsive group, the tumor shrinkage rate are much more, much higher than the non-responsive, and uh, the shrinkage rate is higher. And uh, for the complete and the incomplete remission, it is the same. The complete remission group, the tumor shrink uh, even much, much more than the incomplete. So we are using, and we also found the the, the length shrinkage rate is correlated with the treatment response. And also, uh, by using the ROC, we can uh, see the cutoff value to evaluate the uh, responsive group is the length shrinkage, uh, more than 41%, and the uh, thickness, more than 64%, uh, 66, uh, 46%, and uh, the volume shrinkage is around seven, uh, 68%. Um, by uh, by uh, predict, uh, prediction of the complete, res res uh, complete response, uh, the length, uh, width, uh, and the volume shrinkage is a little bit higher, uh, both with a very high uh, area under the ROC. Uh, as we can see, uh, pre-treatment T-stage uh, by using the indirect ultrasound is very high, over 90%, but after the treatment, the Accuracy is decreasing. Uh, uh, the literature reported is around 25 to 82 uh, percent. It is mainly because after the radiation therapy, the morphological changes, the fibrosis, the inflammatory, so it's difficult for the ultrasound to see the pathological changes uh, to different, differentiate from the uh, viable tumor in, inside. Uh, in this group of patients, we can see 25 patients uh, achieved the PCR. Uh, we can, by using ultrasound, we can only uh, correctly uh, know eight of them. Uh, 17, per 17 cases, uh, uh, around 70% of the patients were uh, T-staged higher by using the ultrasound, uh, which means this patient uh, can avoid the surgery, but they have to take the uh, uh, re surgery, uh, radical surgery resection and uh, suffer some kind of uh, surgical complication. And uh, in five cases uh, around, the, uh, uh, we, we stage too low, which means there is a viable tumor, but this kind of patient, if they have the uh, watch and wait strategy, which means uh, uh, if the tumor uh, recurrent, so uh, they will lose the chance to operation, maybe. So by using the uh, length and thickness and the volume reduction rate to predict the completion remission is a, is a better way to, better way than the morphologic change. Uh, we can increase the uh, so sensitivity to 60 to 80 percent compared with uh, indirect ultrasound. And also we found uh, in the, uh, some uh, literature reported they are using the MRI and uh, also calculate the uh, volume uh, uh, shrinkage rate. Uh, it is uh, similar with our result is uh, 70 to 6, 70 to 75 percent uh, remission, which uh, can predict a very high accuracy of the complete response. So, and also, we, we tried a little bit by using the contrast ultrasound to evaluate the uh, treatment response. This is a very preliminary uh, research and still not got the, uh, the normal result. Uh, but uh, I, I updated in my new PPT. Uh, we recently published a paper. It is because uh, uh, through the transrectal ultrasound guided the whole layer biopsy of the tumor and uh, it, it can significantly lower the rate of the, uh, the, uh, um, the non-positive diagnosis of the treatment response. 
And th this part of the study is uh, uh, still under investigation, not published. And I'd like to show by using the contrast ultrasound, we still can show some in, uh, uh, trend for the evaluation of the treatment response. Uh, this is the before treatment, and then the, the, the layer of the rectal and also the tumor increased, uh, enhanced uh, after injection of the contrast agent and we can perform the uh, TIC curve. And after treatment, we can see the responsive group, the, the, the enhancement, the, the parameter of the enhancement decreased. And also the complete remission group also decreased significantly. So, but the, it is still the preliminary report, uh, the result. I'd like to show it later in the future. Uh, so in this study, we can see, uh, and also we can perform in the transrectal ultrasound guided uh, biopsy for the uh, lymph nodes, because this case is a five millimeter, which means 50% of positive metastasis. But after we biopsy, it is negative. The patient can avoid the NCRT treatment. Okay, uh, that, that, that's my uh, pre, uh, the presentation. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Jian Liu, for your wonderful speech. There are, there are three points in the concluding remark. First, Transrectal ultrasound should be used as a routine examination method for common anovital diseases. Second, it is of great significance to judge T stage, N stage, CRM value, and evaluate the Curative effects after adjuvant therapy. Third, in clinical practice, ERAS should be combined with MR to complement each other's advantage to achieve better results. Thank you, Professor Guan Yan Liu. Thank you. The next professor is Liu Xueling. Give us the course application of macular gliton ultrasound in shoulder pain. Please, Professor Liu Xueling. for introduction. Uh, my name is Jenny Liu. I come from the ultrasound department of First uh, Ability Hospital of Guangxi University of Chinese Medicine. The title of my report is a complication of meticulous skeletal uh, ultrasounds in shoulder pain. Uh, we know uh, shoulder pain is a common symptom. Uh, we can see many uh, patients in different parts uh, in hospital. In hospital, uh, expediologist uh, invitation shows uh, shows uh, that uh, prevalence. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, prevalence of uh, uh, shoulder pain is. is uh, 6% to 27%. Uh, it is the first. Uh, it is the first uh, major uh, in uh, major uh, uh, disease of a uh, system uh, monitor. Uh, the elders of the age, the higher of the uh, prevalence, uh, with the advancement of. Uh, 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 sensed 
the shoulders diagnosis is becoming more uh, accurate. So we said uh, little trends based story. We can see uh, some patients in uh, departments of sports uh, medicine and rheumatological uh, and immune logic, logic uh, department. Uh, Shelter so pace, uh, we know uh, different parts, uh, uh, pace in different parts may be uh, different injuries. Uh, for example, the outside uh, shelter pace uh, may be a separate mirrors of uh, bursitis. And pace on the posterior uh, shelter size uh, may be a rotator cuff tear injuries. Uh, Entrance uh, shelter pace uh, may be a Rotators are carved injuries and or current colon con qualities. Uh, common shoulder drains are uh, mass. We know a uh, vehicle examination is a foundation, uh, but uh, we know uh, all vehicle examination uh, did not uh, practice uh, or. Uh, uh, calf tears. So it is necessary to do uh, imaging, uh, uh, medicine images. NRI enclosing contrast images, uh, it is a common uh, medic mass. And ascorop, uh, ultrasounds have a many advantages. Uh, uh, for example, face to face and soft times examination. Purpose of the shoulder drain the ultrasound examinations, uh, lesions uh, location and continuation diagnosis of the shoulder drains. Ultrasound assessment of uh, rotator cuff um, mobilities. Follow up evaluation after uh, surgery and rehabilitation treatment. Indication for cell ultrasound examination. Uh, once uh, cell drain pace, two cell drain mounted dysfunction, three cell drain uh, traumas, four uh, cell lesion uh, due to immune uh, or my bodies, a lesion. A five other lesion in soft teeth along the shoulder, such as space occupies a lesion. Uh, we do uh, we do the shoulder uh, examination. The bony markings that uh, they must be master, uh, such as uh, acromions, uh, uh Color cones. Uh, for example, uh, color bones, uh, acromions, and color cones, uh, and head of the humerus. Maze contains of shoulder drain examinations. It includes a uh, rotator's cuff, a uh, nice rotator cuff. Uh, rotator cuff includes a uh, tendons of separate capillary uh, muscle, tendons of a uh, separate spinatus uh, muscle, uh, ten tendons of infrared spinatus uh, muscle, uh, and tendons of small round tendon. The portion of the portion of uh, shoulder pace uh, is, is uh, recommended. Recommended uh, portion of is for the patient facing the 
edema and sitting in rotating chair that can adjust the height. A beast, some patients, such as a sacral abrasion or other lesions, cannot sit, can be surprised uh, examination. The problem is uh, comfortable and so time to finish it. Inspection requirements is uh, 7 to 10 million hertz range probe. B is pay attention to the contract on both sides, uh, all sweep, uh, track, and dynamic sweep. C is straight standard, standard or uh, comprehensive. D is uh, from the tendon junction to the attend point. So the scan stand. According to Chinese guidelines for medicular skeletal uh, ultrasounds, uh, 20 to 22, <coughs> the biceps long has tendons. Uh, ones, uh, twos, uh, tendons of subcapillaries um, muscle. Three, tendon of subspinatus uh, muscle. Four, uh, the subspinatus Pay the tendon small right tendon. Five, uh, the posterior genus uh, lobus and generous uh, joints, a cranial calcareous joints and choroid shoulders uh, ligament. The person's uh, bicep long head tendons. Uh, the potions uh, have, uh, do you have money? Uh, we can see the uh, long, uh, 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 by size, uh, long head tendon. Two, uh, I know money, I know money, a uh, tendon of the breast bears, uh, tendons. Uh, trees, uh, the subrespinators, uh, tendons, and the body's portion. Uh, a is a uh, modified uh, correct portion, modified uh, correct portion. Uh, two is correct portion. It is, I, let me see, I have money. <laughs> uh, the pro was up to sweep the separate spinators uh, tendons. The separate spinators tendons uh, finally is uh, the separate spinators tendons are in small eyes tendons. Pathological uh, grades of the uh, rotator's cuff have a uh, three level. Uh, this picture is a uh, long head uh, tennis stick, no notivities of uh, the of the biceps of uh, brassy. Uh, this paper is a uh, callus callus classific. Tenties. Uh, this paper is a uh, superchromius of bursitis. Uh, we can do a superchromius of uh, impact tense. Notator cuff tear is a common disease of the cell's surgeries. A common in the 